Hi, I'm Sydney Galpern from SeeMeCakes.com and today I'm going to show you how to create this elegant and festive champagne bottle using Simi Isomalt, which is perfect for holiday parties and New Year's Eve cakes. For this project, I'm using Simi brand Isomalt, which is a pre-cooked Isomalt tile, which means it's already been tempered. So all I have to do is pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then 15 second intervals until it's a liquid. Now when the Isomalt is melted, it's about 300 degrees. So you have to be very, very careful because it can cause burns if it comes in contact with your skin. I highly recommend wearing gloves and that will protect your hands from the heat while you're working with it. To create the champagne bottle shape, I'm using a hard candy mold. This is a plastic mold, but it is specifically for isomalt and things that are high heat. You do not want to use clear chocolate molds because those are not built for high heat and they can melt through. But the opaque white ones, as long as you grease them, will be fine for working with isomalt and with hard candy. So that's what I'm using. I have my champagne bottle here. The first thing you always want to do when you're using a hard candy mold is spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. It doesn't matter what kind of oil, as long as it's pure oil, not the baking spray, because that has powder in it. And I just kind of spread and wipe out any excess in my mold before I pour it. I did add a little bit of color to my liquid ice malt after I had melted it in the microwave, again for about 30 seconds, and then 15 second intervals, and I just stirred it in with a silicone spatula. I used four drops of green airbrush color and two drops of deep brown or chocolate brown airbrush color. The airbrush color will just mix right into the ice malt. You don't want to mix too much in because keep in mind it is a water base, so you don't want to add too much because it can thin down the consistency of the ice malt, but I just added a few drops and I'm going to go ahead and fill in my bottle mold and just fill it all the way to the top on both sides. If you see any air bubbles that have rise to the surface of my bottles after I pour them, I can just use my handy little chef's torch here and get all those bubbles away. I'm going to leave my bottles out in room temperature to dry for 15 to 20 minutes until they feel firm to the touch with a toothpick. While my bottle is drying, I'm going to go ahead and get my labels ready. So I printed out my labels on Icing Images premium icing sheets using my edible printer. And I just sized a few different ones because I wasn't sure which once it printed out would fit perfectly on my bottle. That way it gave me some options. But I have one that I already cut out here, which will be the label on the side. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the label that's going to go around the neck. Now for over top of the neck where the cork is, I am going to use this piece of foil here that I just cut into a square to wrap around the top just above where the neck label is going to go. Now if you wanted to keep this completely 100% edible, you definitely could also use gold leaf, but I'm going to just go ahead and use my piece of foil here and cut out with scissors my neck label like this. It's been about 20 minutes and my bottle should be dry now. Now you never want to test that your bottle is set up and dry by touching it with your finger, okay? Just in case it is still liquid in there, you don't want to burn yourself. So use a toothpick or you know a tool or something just to kind of poke at it right in the center and see if it's still soft. If it still makes a dent, then obviously it's still too soft to come out. You have to let it sit up a little bit more, but this one looks like it should be perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and first flex my mold and then very carefully, the bottle oh, should just come right out like that. Perfect. So first off, I'm just gonna wipe off some of the excess oil just to get rid of that. And now I'm going to put my two halves together. So how I'm going to do that is just flip my bottles over so the flat side is now up again. And I'm going to go ahead and use my torch and right in the center, just really, really melt the two halves so that they stick together. So I'm melting right down the center until it looks like it's melted and also bubbling, mostly on the bottom half of the bottle, right in the center. You don't have to worry about getting the whole thing. Just concentrate in a few areas. That should be good. And now very carefully, 
I'm going to place one half on top of the next one and just push them together. I want to try and make sure that they are in the right spot on that first try when I put it together because once they're stuck, they're stuck. So I want to make sure that they're going to be even. All right, so I have my bottle stuck together here and it does look really good just like this, but I do have a seam where the two bottles met up. So I wanna go ahead and get rid of that and how I'm going to do that is just by going one small section at a time. I'm going to reheat it to soften it back into almost a liquid and then I'm using my silicone sculpting tool here to just blend and kind of smear the two edges together to make it one. Very similar to how you would kind of spread icing with a spatula. I'm just smoothing it over. A little bit softer and repeat that process until it's smoothed over. And then once I'm happy with how it's blended, I just go over it one last time to completely blend all of that together. So I'll go ahead and continue to do this all the way around the bottle until he is completely sealed. So I've blended my bottle, all the seams out here, and we are ready to put on our labels. Now, since there was oil in the mold, there is still a little bit on the surface here. That will seal the ice melt for about a day and keep it from getting sticky or cloudy. Now, if you're planning on keeping this longer than that, I would definitely recommend using an edible glaze. I use the PME brand, but you can use any sort of clear edible glaze spray. Just a coat or two over your piece will just lock in all of that shininess and keep it from getting cloudy or sticky. All right, so I will go ahead and take my foil here now and start wrapping it around the top. Just kind of scrunching it on here and I'm going to go ahead and trim it where I want it to end so that I can put my other label on. So I'm just kind of trimming out a straight line along the bottom here. And then our neck label is going to go right over that. So you don't have to worry about it being too perfect looking. Okay, there's our top here. And now I have a little bit of piping gel. Okay, a little bit of piping gel here with a paintbrush. And we are first going to put on our neck label. So I just paint a little bit of the piping gel onto my label. Make sure that you peel the plastic backing off first. Okay, just a little bit here. Wrap that right around. And now we have our front label. Just hold this for a second to make sure it's set up. And the same thing with our front label, especially on those edges so that they stick down right around here and I will just hold this on the bottle for a moment to dry and then you have your champagne bottle. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. You can find the products I used here today on my website seemycakes.com or at more than 50 retail specialty cake supply stores around the country. Until next time, keep life sweet!